Hello. Hi, sir. Afternoon. Afternoon. All right. I think we're sort of done. We're sort of ready. Um. Otherwise, everything's handy, so I can easily find it. Right, okay. Hello, Dan. Uh, <laughs> and it's... Uh, right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Did I just lose something? I think that was just the... She uh, was not in. Oh, okay. Just... Hi, Ellen. Hi, Denise. Um, okay. What's the <laughs> crazy thing? That, uh, right, so Apple. Uh, I know it's been a while, Dan, but Apple. And Custard Crumble. That's what I forgot. Bear with me a second. I need to... Um, what's the last dish I was going to use? Uh -huh. Make a giant one in this landing. It's that one. No, it's for the uh, for the custard. For the creme glaze. Right, okay, we'll try it that way. Hello, hello, uh, sorry, hello, Jan. Um, oh. We haven't got any cream. Can we do it? Got less than 100 mils. Right, we're going to do the apples anyway first. Um, I can start. Eating some cream up. I've only got about a, not even a hundred mils there. So Ella's just gonna go and pop over to um Sainsbury's and get some get some cream. Right, okay, so apple crumble. Um we're gonna make some mini apple pies, apple and custard, hopefully. However, um never tried it with coconut milk, but I haven't got any in. So I don't know if that'll work. Um to uh, help stretch the apples go a little bit further. 
Uh, yes, Dan. Uh, you wouldn't just just think back to that that Thursday, Friday when you you were down last. That was this afternoon. Um, to help the apples stretch, so to push out the carbs, because these are about nine grams of carbs per hundred. Actually, we're gonna uh, bulk it out with courgettes. If you've never done it, honestly, it really, 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 really works. Um, so we're gonna prep equal volumes of apple and courgettes. Um, and we're going to cook them in, a, in the uh, the normal way that you would cook a, the apples crumble. Um, yeah. So I leave the skins on. Um, let's see if you want to peel them, then peel them. But I always find that I prefer the skins on. So I'm going to be cutting the apples fairly chunky. Fairly chunky. What's up? If you got the other battery, you would have fallen the, out. The it's fallen out, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Right, as long as you don't move. Right. That's I'll, well, I'll, I'm only going to be cutting apples and courgettes for the next couple of minutes. So. Won't be long. So we are going to try something a little bit. Um, I, I've sort of had a, a tiny practice at this. Um, <laughs> well, it's, yeah. it's not a good day. It's not good. Hello, there's a plug socket around here that you can use. Oh, well, I've done it now. Pretty, yes. Get a big one. Big one. Don't get one of those poxy little ones. Um, the pastry, the, the sweet pastry, which we're going to make in a minute. Um, this might be a long one, by the way, folks. Um, hope you've had your dinner. You're ready for a, a two hour session. Um, yeah, the pastry we know that the sweet panda pastry um, is quite soft, it doesn't go crispy, crunchy. One of the things that I tried a uh, week or so ago was adding a little bit of inulin into it. And it did change the texture, but I don't think I added enough. So we're going to chip a lot more inulin at it today to see what happens. Right. Okay. So I'm going to weigh the apples and I can pair it up with equal volumes of, um, of courgette. I am going to wash them and then I'm going to get these straight into the pan. So we've got about 600 grams, 590, 590. So let me just quickly wash these. Why wouldn't what the coconut custard? I don't know if it'll thicken. Honestly, don't know. I've never, never, never attempted it, so I don't know whether it'll it will thicken up or not. In theory, it should do. It's it's a liquid and eggs, so it should do. I just don't know. Right, I'm going to start this off with a bit of butter. Oh, the pastry. Oh, sorry. Right, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Why would that work? Oh, right. So why would the, the inulin work? Um, inulin does very strange things to um, pastry. Um, it does tend to th make things go crispy. However, you do have to be aware that... Um, too much inulin can cause problems. Hi, Sandra. Right, uh, what do you say? 600 grams of apples. They're going to go in. We're going to get them cooking down while I prep up the courgettes. Now we're going to skin these. Let me get my uh, vegetable.
Um, this, this will obviously <clears throat> this will help with the color aspect. We don't want this dark green in with the apple. You don't need to seed them, just skin them. So I'm just making a, a batch of apple. I don't know exactly how much I'm going to need for the pies. Um, however, the excess that I had last time round, uh, do you know what worked great with uh, roast pork? Uh, applesauce um, and then I had the little bit that was left over from that I had that with custard um, and as an as a apple pan apple, apple pie pan I say that after a busy day um, I really 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 enjoyed them right so that's right so I'm going to use this big one I think we might get to I'm just heating the cream upon the back so we can attempt the custard. So we have been doing a little bit of experimenting today as well, and a bit of filming um, down at and the pantry HQ. Um, and we've got, Liam made a pumpkin pie today. I've actually got a pumpkin, yeah. can't see it there. Pumpkin crumble. Um, along with a few other things that he's made, just to, uh, so the recipes have videos. We haven't got many of the edited videos for the panda recipes. But we will have soon. Right, there you go. 560. So it's a 20 grams, 30 grams, but that's fine. Right. I'm going to prep the courgette a little bit finer because I want the courgette to be the part of the apple pie that falls, not the chunky part. I don't need that. Thank you. So with the, the custard, I'm going to heat the cream up over a bain-marie. So it's rolling water underneath, so boiling. I've added about, I'd say about 100 mils of cream into there. I will bring it. I will bring it to the front in a bit. What's in the pan with the apples? It was just a little bit of butter, and then obviously the 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 moisture from the apples. Um, so just a little bit of butter, just for flavour more than anything else. So the courgettes, I'm cutting into smaller pieces and straight in. You want to? Oh, yeah. Now, when I did this a week or so ago, the apples were quite strong. So I, I wasn't sure how how balanced I could get this, how how you know, how much courgette I could add to it um, without affecting the um, without affecting the flavour. Um, and I didn't really need to add anything, although I, I have got a an apple flavouring, which I'll show you in a second. Um, so, and I, you know, if it if it does lack a little bit of, of uh, flavour then you can use this food, uh, what do they call it, a flavour drop. 
it's not the brand that a lot of people use. It's a um, right. I'm going to get a lid for that. Right. I'm not going to add anything to that for a few minutes. I want it to sort of cook down a little bit. We'll taste it. We'll add sugar. Oh, sweetener. We'll add sweetener. We'll um, maybe add some uh, flavor drops. And if you want some cinnamon, that's entirely up to you. Right. So this is the. We'll put a link to it if you can't properly see. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. So it's a company called Special Ingredients. Anyone can buy from it. And they do everything from small bottles like this, which are 30 mils. And apparently have something like 600 drops in there. They do that all the way up to 10 litres of the very same. 10 litres is probably going to cost you about £1,000, depending on which flavour you, you want. However, um, I'd just probably recommend you get a 30 ml bottle. Um, the flavours are crystal clean. They are just amazing. Um, this has got a proper fresh apple smell and taste. So... It's very much like um, biting into a you know green apple. Beautiful. If it needs it, I'll add a little bit. The last time I did it, it didn't really need it at all. So well, let's do the pastry. Um, yeah, you can use that bottle for the pastry. Let's get rid of the water. I'm going to make, um, let's see, I'm going to make about 400 grams of pastry. I don't know how much I'm going to need because I've got in here my oh, muffin tin. I'm going to do as many as I can. If I do 400 grams, uh, I suppose it's maybe going to give me 8 to 10, maybe, something like that. Let's see how it goes. Um, to do that, I'm going to need 100 grams of butter. Changing the unit size rather than zeroing it. Zero. Ninety. One or two. Um, now, did Liam melt his butter this afternoon when he did the sweet pastry? Uh, he rubbed in the, the lard. Yeah, it was, it was, it was Yeah, but, so I'm going to quickly melt this. It does speed the process up. So we've got 100 grams of butter. We're going to use 100 grams of panda. And we're going to use 200 mils grams of slightly warm water slightly warm just enables the uh, pastry to be rolled out fairly even though very easily so does the natural flavor of the apple flavor natural flavor of the apple. oh yeah 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 so the natural flavors of the apple flavor the coach doesn't really have a flavor does it there's nothing really much to it um so it will depend as to how strong the apples are uh, say the ones that got oh, last week they were they were they were really strong uh, i can smell these quite you know quite a lot so I, i'm not sure i'd need to add them to this it's not as if once they're cooked um that you're going to try and have to fool somebody into thinking that you know it's not apple it just won't taste any different So you can see it's falling already. The uh, the brighter green in there at the moment is the courgette. Yeah, the brighter green. But the apples are falling. The courgettes, once the heat has got through all of the pan, the courgettes will fall pretty quickly. In fact, look how much it's fallen already.
So I'm just going to turn that down for a minute. See how much is shrunk down in there. So I've knocked that down to two. I'll let it cook through for another couple of minutes and then we'll taste it and see what, what, uh, what sweetness it needs to add into it. One more blast on the... Okay. And the flour. So, I say we're gonna, we're making four hundred grams, just over four hundred grams of of um, pastry here. So it will say only uses a hundred grams of flour. There we go. So there's a couple of small. Say chunks, a bit of the packet as well. There is a couple of small chunks of butter in there, but they're going to melt while I'm doing this. Uh, so, 100 grams of panda, It's a fairly easy ratio to remember. It's 100 flour, 100 fat, and then 200 water. Um, so 112 would be 50, 50, 100, don't we? Does that confuse it? You don't really know. Uh, yes, Jane, courgettes are involved. All right. So. Flour and flour and um, butter. Give it a bit of a mix. I am going to get my hands in there in a second. Just wanted to. The packet is oh, the packet. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, I mean, so yeah, you can rub it. Do more like breadcrumbs, but this will come together really easily. Slightly warm, which is great. It's just going to. Make it a little bit easier to roll out. All right, so just warm, literally just warm water. 200 mils. Fraction over. We'll get a bit of it. If it's a little bit loose, we can just throw a little bit more panda flour at it. Just work it in for a, a minute or two. It doesn't take long. You can do this in a stand mixer if you want. Just use the um, use the paddle. Um, slow speed. She's not having a good day. <laughs> Is that... Both batteries are dead. I think you might need to invest in another battery. I just, I unplugged it because I needed to use the plug to get something else. I can't remember what it was. Right. Now. I forgot to replug now, it. Now, I'll tell you what I've done, as I always do, what I've forgotten is to add the sweetener to this. So I'm going to add it through. It'll be fine, but it's always better to add the sweetener at the powder point. How do you feel about redoing this video? Yeah, yeah, we can do it again. You're making an apple pie? Yeah, yeah, I can make another apple pie. That, that's, that's Ella speak for a really had enough today. <laughs> I missed the first part. Really, really had enough of this. When the camera dies mid-film, it just wipes that last bit. So I've lost your mix in the taste with Right, okay. About 40 grams of sweetness, 10 grams per 100. Hi, Karen. Hi, Susie. Uh, can you substitute, can you use a substitute for panda flour? 
Uh, not for this recipe, no, because any the flowers are going to be going to work differently. So what I'm showing you here is is a recipe specifically for uh, the panda flower. Um, you can make pastry using ground almonds, but you won't be able to follow this recipe. Um, I'm sure there is a recipe. Uh, what's, what would, it, would our, our old um, pastry tart cases be made of? That have been a, a short brush. Yeah, yeah. So that was a um, ground almonds and coconut flour. So there is meant to be okay so that's the that's the the original um short crust pastry recipe okay so just gonna let that rest for a minute Quickly with the apples. Just stew down like normal apple. So let's have a little taste. So we were saying we've got. Um, uh, what was it? 1.2 kilos in here, isn't it? To start with, so apple yes, sour, yes, it needs a bit of oak. I reckon these are not as strong, so I am going to use a little bit of the apple flavor. We're just going to go with six drops. I'll, I'll weigh out the, the sweetener. Um, I'd probably say 100 grams in total. Do you know no, I'm going to go six to start with. That's 5%. We'll see what that tastes like. I don't want it too sweet because obviously we've got a sweet page brew as well. So, um, you may also want to add some cinnamon at this point if you want. So, I think I'll add just a dash. Mm -hmm. Right. I would say for me, that's sweet enough. It's got a little bit of the tartness still there. A little bit. Um, company called Special Ingredients. Just, you can't miss their company. Because if you just type in Special Ingredients, they'll pop up. And the apple flavor wise, fine as well. Six drops. I'm going to add a little bit of. Cinnamon to it. Just half a teaspoon. It's going to be about three or four grams. So it's going to change the, the colour of the apple. But that's... He's done. That's beautiful. <clears throat> I just want to do a little bit of this. 
So this is the creme anglaise or the serviette. It's not a thick British custard. <coughs> um, we've got fresh cream in here. Double cream over a hot pan. I need the water just moving a little bit. Probably going to take about three egg yolks. Um, we'll need a little bit of sweetener. Well, not sweetener. Twenty-five grams of sweetener in there. Again, you can always add more if we need it later. Um, yeah. So we just want the yolks. Okay. And a small amount, so like try and get no more than one egg yolk in at a time. Obviously, doing it this way will take a little bit longer. Can can do it in a pan. You have to be really careful though not to scramble your egg. I will add a small amount of vanilla recipe as well. This is thickening up quite nicely. It's um the cream was obviously quite hot, but it sat on the back for a few minutes. Half a teaspoon. A little bit of vanilla essence in there. All right. We'll let that just carry on. Whilst we try and roll out the pastry. So just taking a ball of the, the pastry, I'm not, I'm just going to, um, I'll get a couple going. We're not going to be able to get a whole tray done today, I don't think. We'll um, have to revisit pies at some point. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. So obviously, the uh, pastry is best rolled on silicone greaseproof sheets. Uh, <laughs> board's wet. I wonder why it wasn't rotating. From the middle of the ocean. Well, Kathy. Well done for joining in. Now, I didn't sort myself out the cutter. So let's think. Oh, I know what.
is the base of the um, burger press. I'll tell you what I didn't do, which I said I would do, was that minion insert. We're definitely doing this one again. So the pastry is quite forgiving. Yeah. So even if it does start to tear, and this one just sort of went on one of the sides, um, it's very easy to to replace, repair. Now this is brand new, that'd be fine. Honestly, so. Have faith. Have a little taste. Right, move from that. You can't stand there. Oh, I, I mean. It's stunning. Flavor wise, it's stunning. I might want it a little bit thicker. A little bit. It will thicken up when it goes when it goes cold. Um I'm tempted. Tempted just to sit there and eat out of the bowl. Um we'll get a couple more done. Oops, press that one too hard in the middle. Get a couple more done, and then we can um, talk about with the custard while we quickly brine bake these. Not had it for such a long time up until last week. I was like, wow, I've forgotten what real custard actually tastes like so it is fairly you know easy to handle let's go across and say if it does tear a little it's not a panic it will very easily just push back together again it's going to create a tiny little patch there just in the base <laughs> we bought um how many portions that there sue is a good six to eight portions yeah six to eight hey oh actually it's thickened up just a little bit more right i'm gonna leave that as it is i'm not going to look it out anymore So you should be able to hear it, I think, the squeaker. We got uh we, we got cocoa in Utah, which means which meant we had to obviously get hard in Utah as well. Um so she's she's playing with it right now and growling at it. They're just little like little squeaker bones. She's not she's not a toy fan really never has been but we thought Argy's a nightmare with squeaker toys absolute nightmare he can go on for hours and hours and hours with the same toy um generally he destroys the squeakers as well fairly quickly um but obviously we had to to get one e because instantly he will want whatever it is he'll actually want both um he tried taking both um she's uh she's enjoying it she's enjoying it right i did that one a little bit thicker there you go nice all right i'm gonna get these in the oven just to blind bake while we um honestly you lot need to look at your portion control if you think that's one portion of custard it's at least the sharer. Right. 
I'm going to pop those in. Get them. What you leaves out the clown. I had me in the walk yesterday. Uh, the walk. Um, obviously they just had new squeaker toys. Oh right, right okay. Toys, and then we walked past this tiny dog that was standing in. Oh the right, god, yeah, yeah, sorry, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, bake. Uh, one eighty. It will only take, I'd say, eight minutes. We'll we'll do it on that for now. Um, I'll roll out some more while we're, we're sort of waiting for the dogs to blind bake. I'll roll out some more circles. And I'll get them ready to, to finish up afterwards. <clears throat> Does the apple need to cool with honey? No, 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 straight in. I mean, once they're, they're baked, the oh, I'll do, do the tops as well. Once they're baked, I'll fill them and um, bang them back in. No, no. Now, obviously, we do cheat at, um, I say cheat, we just have a, we have a press at um, the bakery. So we could make one big one, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm intent on doing lots of little ones uh, this time round. We'll do the big one next time round, all right? When, when Ella has her um, fancy... Yes, so I'm not doing the fancy lattice either. Right, there you go. So that's that's preheated. Um, doesn't take long. Yeah, we use a press to uh, get nice, smooth pastry out of the bakery. We're certainly not hand rolling every every pie, every cake. Of those that maybe haven't seen, the bakery website is reopened. Um, I'll give you a quick heads up. Uh, it's Thursday, isn't it? Yeah, Thursday. It'll be open till Sunday at least. Okay? Um, it's been a very busy afternoon. I, I think a lot of people... Um, uh, a lot of people have been waiting to place their orders. So, um, I suppose... The thing to remember about what we do there... Everything's handmade. Everything. So we can't have hundreds and hundreds of orders outstanding when everything's got to be made to order. So yes, we do occasionally have to close the website to ensure that we can get those orders that are in the system done and dispatched. We've had to close it the most this month. We've had to close it the most this month, most because of the show, and it was because of preparing for the show and then recovering from the show. Um, because the show just wipes us out of absolutely everything, including energy and sleep. Um, so for anyone that's, I'd say, a bit myth, that they weren't able to place their order up until this morning. Unfortunately, we can't run an unlimited infinite website because we don't have unlimited infinite time or capacity. We do have a solution, hopefully. There's, there, there, there's things that we're doing. We're things that we're doing to improve volume. Um, but again, they take time to develop. Um, you know, whether that's a different working regime, whether that's different machinery, um, you know, there's, there's things that we're doing all the time, but we still, we still have to protect, A, what we're doing, 
to make sure that we don't make mistakes and it happens of course it does um and b that we protect ourselves because it would be very easy to work try and work 24 hours a day trying to provide what we do down there so i'd say i'm sorry we can't take unlimited amount of orders but if you want stuff that is clean a lot of our stuff won't go through machines this won't go through a standard pastry roller i had to sell the pastry roller because it didn't work the pastry that our pastry just won't work in a pastry roller if we could have a use a pastry roller we could produce a, a huge amount more in this in the time that we in the time that we do every pie every pasty every sausage roll is made by hand well i suppose the it is the reason why we do this as well to show you you can do this by hand at home and yeah i might i might have a little bit more experience than some people but it doesn't take long yeah i mean you, you're right lisa i mean you know we've, we've had discussions here <clears throat> discussions here about you know was it um i'll be back with you in two seconds karen um about the like the closing the website and i i've just said i we can't we cannot um just continue to take orders um without some sort of break because we just can't produce at that speed so i'd rather people say when can i place my order rather than where is my order because I appreciate when you place an order, you want it pretty much ASAP. Okay, Karen, so to be off topic, the pies before you come the recipe for the wonderful brown tea rolls. The recipe, no, that's a protected recipe. That's that's my creation. The blend, so the actual um, bread mix, is available. So, sorry, but the recipe itself, there are very, very, very few recipes that we protect. In fact, there are two. One is that, and the other is that. That's it. Everything else, I can't, I can't think of anything else that we, we, we hold on to. Uh, well, because, anything else that isn't published, because we haven't got around to it. Yeah, we haven't got around to it. it. It comes under the, we're going through the trademarking process of this right now. We will do the other stuff also when we when we when we can get to it essentially when we can get to it um and we can't then give away a recipe that we're trying to trademark because then anyone can copy it so karen that link there will take you to the recipe for the panda bread as in here's the mix and here's what you add to it that's what we can release yeah it's uh, and we'll be honest it's because it, the amount of time it takes to create these sorts of things you know that was 18 months in development, panda bread. Um, I pulled my hair out for <laughs> a long time, a long time, yeah. panda bread. The running joke and we have exploding pandas. We had exploding pandas for many months, yeah. So, you know, it's one of those things that um, if we could, we would, but there's very little in, the, in what we protect. Um, Right, there we go. So I've got uh so I've got three in there. I need to make one more. There you go. I need to make one make one more <clears throat> circle and I'll get myself uh five decent. I'll probably get trimmings out of this as well. The uh, the oven's lit up. Yes, it lights itself up every now and then. You can turn it on permanently. You can you, yeah, there is a light up function on it as well. Um Be, it doesn't stay on. I mean, it will go on for. I think it's about. Uh, you can see you like um, I think it will go on for about like thirty seconds or something like that. Um, I'd like it to stay on permanently. Mm. Joe, I might save that one for when I get little trimmings. 
it's a little it's a little bit short of the circle. Oh, actually, it's not. No, it's not. Well, do you know what? It looks smaller on the paper, and yet when you do that, right. So that killed a few minutes, didn't it? Just letting you know it's still there. Yeah. So you definitely need to come back at some point next week when we'll do a uh, proper uh, sweet patient with inulin. I'll try it out over the weekend. See if it works. Okay, so we've baked. We'll bake the cases. It does buff up a little bit. Even though there's no raising agent in the flour at all, it does buff up a little bit. I'm going to see if I can take it out. So there you go. So, see, so it's gone nice and golden on the underside as well. Um, there you go. They, they pop out lovely. Most of it. There you go. Yeah, and they've got a nice golden color all the way around. So, there we go. There's our. I suppose I can do the others at the same time now as well. Yes, the tin's hot, but yeah, my fingers are used to that sort of heat. Some of these are quite thick. I maybe could have rolled them out a little bit thinner. Just got a bit impatient. However, we used to buy apple pie. This was this was Ella's favorite favorite dessert between the ages of about seven and ten. Yeah, um, uh, and it was only the uh, it was only the pastry that she enjoyed really. Um, tell you what, I'll do that and that. I'll do those three rows there. How we end up with? Oh no, it was only two more, wasn't it? Although I'm easily going to get out. Easily going to get um, lids out of those. So I will be able to make more actually. So let's not be shy. Looking confused. What's what's what what am I getting confused about, Sue? I mean, we know it doesn't take much. Usually. Ella's talking about the multiple uh, motorbikes she's been looking at. And there have been multiple motorbikes. <laughs> How many in this past week? How many in the past week? How many in the past 24 hours? <laughs> Two, no, three actually in the last, I think, about four in the past week. I've been, I have a 25% success rate. Just want to show you the custard. It has gone a little bit thicker. As it's cooling down, it started to thicken up just a little bit. Now. I'm going to get a little bit in the pie, just a little bit, right in the centre. That's a portion there, Sue, yeah? That's why it's in the pie, yeah? Your portion of custard is in the pie, yeah? What do you mean it needs a different name, Sue? I like my ninja's name. Okay. <laughs> Oh, wow. That's a serious response to your custard portion. <laughs> right, this does need to be an awful lot smaller. Oh, little glass. <clears throat> Where's the highballs going? Mm -hmm. Has Lily nicked all of the little half fine glasses? <laughs> I've never used them for this. Well, he also said he didn't see any top of them. Oh, right. I don't quite know where it's all gone. Yeah. We went to try and find some uh, normal Tupperware boxes to put general food away. I'm like, where have they all gone? The long, you know, square ones, blue lids. None of them. We've got barely anything left. Oh, yeah, Louis moved out, didn't he, last month? I bet his apartment in Leicester's got more 
go. Perfect. Perfect size. Um, yeah, I bet he's got a multitude of uh, storage tins, tubs. If you want to egg wash them, you can egg wash them. Oh, yeah, crumble. Yeah, I don't have time to make the crumble, Lisa. I only have time to make the pastry. There's a crumble there. We can pretend. There you go. See? Here's the crumble I made earlier. I didn't make it. Liam made it. The crumble mix, um, he did tell me. because it, Obviously, it's the uh, same uh, panda flour with um, butter. Again, what it was then. And sweetener, just no water. So join us next week for a uh, proper apple pie and crumble, uh, sorry, apple crumble, and um, using pastry with inulin. Uh, right, we're going to bang that in for another, I'd say actually eight more minutes because it's just the top and then we'll get the the other one sorted as well. I'm not crimping around the top, so honestly, I don't need to, don't need to. Look, do you want an apple pie in eight minutes or not? Hey. Eh? I should have brought, in hindsight, we've got a bag of crumble uh, in the free in the fridge over at the bakery. I should have brought some of that with me, shouldn't I? Didn't think it'd take this long. What takes two minutes? What the, honestly? All right. I suppose the the um, the two that are empty. So I don't need to do this then, do I? I suppose I can fill these. It's a good job. I know you lot just doing it out of amusement, yeah? Yeah? I know, it got exactly Helen, see? Thank you. Always like Helen, yeah? Right, come on then. <laughs> what? Karen. <laughs> Sorry, Karen. <laughs> You're eating into Karen's fitness channel. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually crashing into um, Karen's PT time with me. Sorry. Or are you doing one of Lisa's sessions? All right, equal volume, flour. Um, um, equal volume flour butter, a little bit of extra sweetener. So zero that. Let's do this quickly. We'll do a small amount, 50 grams, 50 grams. So flour. There we go. 50 grams of butter. We do want it to actually it's quite soft which is good so little pieces we're going to rub it in traditional way oh that was this morning okay i thought you were doing one now then Karen. so 50 grams of butter there we go One of the very first things my gran taught me to do when I was a nipper was make crumble. Um, so then when I actually went to college, uh, catering college, um, and they tried to get you to do crumble, and they're like, no, 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 my gran's been making it for like 60 years at this point. I'm well, making it my gran's way. If you don't want to do this, then you can use a mini food chopper. Um, just pulse it. Just create the breadcrumbs. Just break up the fat. <laughs> I 
depends how sweet you want the crumble. So you could go 50-50-50, um, which is what I've done there. You could add a little bit more sweetener if you want. Um, that's up to you. That's, it depends what sweetener you use, how much you like, all that sort of stuff. You know, just just think about the, the first the first two, 50 flour, 50 um, butter, rub them together, add your sweetener, done, crumble. Yeah? Brown one works well, yes. I've got white open now, so my fingers are greasy and the brown's there sealed up, so, you know. Um, yeah, the, doing this sort of dish, Helen, is very is very much it's not like me and Gran um, in her kitchen. Every weekend, we'd make apple crumble and we'd make... Um, but she's the one that taught me how to make steak kidney puddings. Um, rice pudding. <laughs> rice pudding. Remember Gran? That was always a a favourite for a Saturday afternoon. Right, there we go. It's nice and fine now. Got two minutes left on this. Look how quick that was, honestly. Not even five minutes, Emma. Not even five minutes. <clears throat> right, we'll be finished in like five minutes now, yeah? Or do you want to wait to the end of the crumble? Nah, good job. Um, obviously, certain time of year coming up soon. Can't mention the C word though. But deep filled mince pies. This this is perfect. It's absolutely perfect for the for that sort of pastry. I actually defrosted a, a mix yesterday. Wasn't sure what it was, and it turned out to be festive pie mix. Hello, Coco. She's come down to see if I've dropped anything. It's it's courgettes. You're not really a fan of courgettes, are you? Hmm? Okay. Oh. Yes, Jan. Great idea. Uh, savory crumble is is fantastic. Oh, hang on. Just put flour on my nose. Uh, obviously, I didn't egg wash these. Could quite, you know, if you want a nice, nice golden colour, and I might end up putting the pies back in just to sort of because they're looking a little bit pale. We've got about a minute left. The cases will be fine. Um, yeah. Okay. Do I put the custard at the bottom this time? That'd be quite nice. We'll try it. We'll try it. It's not rocket science. It's messing about with food. Um, <laughs> she just sat down by the side of me. You want crumble? <laughs> you want crumble? You can't have crumble, I'm afraid. No. You've had, you've had your chicken? Yeah. Well, no. We'll go for a walk in a minute, yeah? Um, uh, absolutely, yeah. Crumble makes freezeable, yes. I mean, actually, this is a point. We had a, we had a, uh, a message earlier. Um, and there is, I don't know whether there's just confusion about freezing food or um, whether people just don't feel it's safe, but any fresh food. So, I mean, what we're doing here is just, it's fresh, it's fresh food. You know, we, we, we're adding no preservatives to any of this stuff. So once it's made, um, like many of our breads and all that sort of stuff, once it's made, You've got to treat it as fresh food, as you would meat. So just assume that this is meat and treat it this very same way. So if you're not going to eat it in the next day, two, then freeze it. Freeze it down. And yes, by freezing it, it extends its life. This is the confusion. You know, we send things out with a date on it, which is a sort of use by date or best before date, because that's the... The time scale that we're allowed to give it but if you want to extend it then freeze it um yeah so they're a little bit doughy still on so they're not gone golden yet however my other pies are um are ready oh yes the custard obviously again the cooler it gets the bigger it will go 
I think we'll be doing tripod too. A little pool of custard at the bottom. Oh. Oh no, I need a clean spoon. I'll get a fresh one. Actually, this is sort of stuff also. I mean, this is, you know, thinking about Christmas and uh, buying gifts and keeping it as a. I forgot what I've done with them. Um, you know, keeping things within, um, you know, the affordable uh, range. We used to make stuff like this. So, like, you know, we used to make pies and cakes for the grandparents. We used to make calendars for them. Um, you know, kids love to sort of, well, it's certainly all right. Maybe not every kid. I'm not going to assume that every kid enjoys going in the kitchen, but actually messing about with food. Most people, especially if you can lick the bowl out. A bit of fun. All right. I'm going <laughs> to. Hello, Liam. Uh, I'm going to go up in temperature just a little bit to want them to go a bit more golden. So 190. Right, there we go. I'm going to tidy up. If you want to stick around for eight minutes, I'm going to leave it running. We've already gone over, so we might as well carry on for the next eight minutes um, and see what they look like once they're coming out. I'm going to save these for later on. Pastry, if, you, um, if you've made it and you don't roll it, then make sure you take it out of the fridge. Um, a couple of hours ahead of you wanting to use it. Um, because if it's cold, it'll be a bit more brittle. Um, if you roll it, it'll stay in the fridge like that, ready for you to use for a couple of days. No problem at all. Again, um, yes, it's got, uh, hang on, what have we made this with? Um, butter. I'm trying to think of what the, uh, what the, what the stuff is. It won't necessarily go off. Um, it'll just dry out. So use it within a couple of days, stick it in the bag if you want. Um, but you know, just again, take it out a little bit ahead of you, the time you wanted to use it. Just let it soften up a bit because it will go quite firm in the fridge. Right, let's find one of these non-existent tubs for the apple. Look, it's empty. The drawer is empty. This used to be full of Tupperware stuff. In fact, there's just a million lids now. No, no boxes. Hi, Una. Welcome to Mark Rants about having no Tupperware. Loads of apple. Loads of it. Go and eat some. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, we, no, 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 see, so I'm avoiding the coffee. It's not good to be drinking caffeine in late afternoon. So, yeah. That's why I've had a Poo Lee tea. Um, so maybe a, maybe a big um, apple pie might happen over the weekend. I think I'll be having uh, a grumpy panda, though, with, with dinner, I think. Um, that's interesting. 
We actually bought some spoons for the for the bakery today because we couldn't find any. We we do believe that Louis's been collecting. Yeah. <laughs> My cocoa. There's nothing there for you. Right, for anyone that didn't catch it at the beginning, that's the uh, apple flavour. Um, they do uh, lemon, sorry, they do oils as well. So they do citrus oils, lemon, orange, um, lime, and they do mint. They are amazing. So if you enjoy your lemon drizzle or you want to make a chocolate orange um, brownie or something like that, these are perfect for it. I think the oils might be a fraction more expensive. I think they're about six, seven quid for the flavors, for the flavor drops. Yes, they do banana. It's bloody brilliant, Helen. Um, nothing like the artificial ones that, again, supermarket sells. Proper crystal clean flavor. So here's, here's, uh, here's one we made earlier. Hang on a second. I say we. I mean, I, I use we when Liam makes it, and I use I when I make it. Um, so he, so Liam was messing about with a pumpkin pie recipe earlier. We we want to try the inulin in, in the pastry to make it sort of firmer. Um, but um, and I don't know what happened to the other half of the pumpkin pie. It, it didn't It didn't seem to make it back here. Um, but very nice. There will be a recipe coming up soon for pumpkin pie. Um, right, what were the questions? We had, uh, here comes Bonoffi. Yes, what's the main special ingredients? Did you miss? Oh, yeah, I did miss your cherry question, Sandra. So, The little, the little bottles, Lisa, the little bottles will last you a, a you know, huge long time. You use such a tiny amount, obviously four drops in all of that apple, no, six drops, isn't it? In all of that apple, you know, over a kilo of apple. So um, you will use a very, very small amount. We obviously use quite a lot of the lemon oil uh, when we're doing the lemon drizzle and lemon and poppy. Um, but yeah you use very little just bought some frozen cherries but they're sweet are they okay for a cherry almond cake couldn't find sours i mean yes they're fine they're going to be higher in carbs the sweet ones probably about 15 15 grams of carbs um per 100 however we in the the pie this used to set ella's ocd off in the in the cherry and almond um uh, cake liam put five in there so she's like how could I get a picture with four slices when there's five cherries in there? But he likes to, you know, two and one in the middle. Um, it is funny sometimes watching those two try and battle it out over who should have um, positioning rights for the final cherry. Um, who makes the little bottle? It's a company called Special Ingredients. Just type in Special Ingredients and they they will pop up. Um, it's a bit weird. I, I appreciate, you know, the, the business name. Um uh, doesn't sound right, but it, it's dead right, and they've got some amazing stuff on there. Something, if you're on their website, not sponsored, don't no affiliate, no nothing. We don't, you know, they don't know, don't know about us. Um, if you're on there, and if you use Xanthan gum, then buy yourself a small pot. It's a third of the price um, for the supermarkets. Supermarket. Uh, works out about £30 a kilo when you buy those little tubs. Um, I think on on um, special ingredients, it's about 13 something like that. It's, it's certainly cheaper. So have a look. They've also got lots of other random ingredients, which I've yet to learn about properly. Oh, there we go. That you've managed to talk for a whole eight minutes again. All right, the crumbles and the camera's not giving it 
enough. But they've just started to go golden. The pies have gone golden. I'm going to pop them out, pop the uh, crumbles back in. Uh, let me get a plate. So thank you for joining the uh, extended apple pie crumble session. Only extended because I forgot it was supposed to be crumble, and Lisa reminded me. Are these too much in pie? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, in, in, in Ella's terms, you're going to cut this into four. See, no crimping required. So, they, what do you xanthan gum for? Xanthan gum is great for thickening things, and you use such a tiny, tiny, tiny amount. Um, so, uh, you could, you could, and it'll thicken cold as well. So, um, I mean, I am tempted to just to sort of like put some custard over one of these now, and um, well, that'd be wrong, wouldn't it? Because I've got to have my dinner yet. Um, however, do you want to see if you can get a little zoomy zoom of these? Um, yeah, xanthan gum, um, will thicken cold liquids as well. Um, what, what did I see that? Hold it up. Um, there you go. There you go. Big fill. Apple pie. With a little bit of custard, haven't they? They've got a little bit of custard in the middle. You can just see it poking out the side here. Should we just should we just put one open? I mean, I'm 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 not gonna eat it, promise, but we'll put one open. <laughs> oh. So that uh, the sorry the crumble, <laughs> the crumble, uh, not crumble, the custard uh, is obviously set in the middle of the pie. It's going to be very hot. I mean, I have to be really careful eating it straight out of the oven like this. Um, and no one likes just sort of like watching somebody else eat, do they? As apple pies go, that would be gorgeous. Just to really set Sue off. There you go, Sue. A little bit of custard as well. Actually, I better not put that whole piece in. That's um, that's going to be lava-like inside. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Honestly, I think once you've made custard, you will never ever think about having that packet garbage again. Just so easy. <laughs> no, you can't taste the cause yet. Absolutely not. I'm not. I'm not even. Uh, you know what? You would not know. I could. I could. Serve you one of those, you would absolutely not know. Wow. You can't taste it, you can't see it. You you would literally there's no evidence of that apple being helped along by its counterpart, Gorget. Obviously, that was for research purposes. Hopefully, you now know, you know, how to eat apple pie and custard. I guarantee, Helen, not even close. Shall we go now? 
I've got all the dogs now. Um, we'll post pictures of the little crumbles. <clears throat> Thank you, Mary. Um, they are, and and obviously you can sort of see now they're cooling down. They go more stable, you know. So when they're when they're hot, uh, the pastry is quite um, soft, <clears throat> but they do go more stable. Perfect. And again, perfect uh, pastries with the the the. Uh, festive pie filling is very, very easy to make. No, no more difficult than the apple pie filling. Um, I waffled on way too long tonight. I apologize for that. Um, Christ, am I going to have anything to say tomorrow on Q&A? Not a clue. I might have an apple pie, though. Right. See you later. Have a nice evening. See some of you in the morning. Seven, 7.30, yes. 7.30 for Tabata. All right. See you later.